Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episodes of Magical Girl Lyrical Nunnel Hut Strikers. We are finally here. We sure are. It is so weird to say that. <laughs> Especially with, like, everything, uh, what has happened um, with both this and Saki, it, it feels very surreal because, you know, of course, if you know me, like, I instantly start and then I sometimes take a break or I just kind of flush and go and try to finish it and then by the time I finish it I am tired <laughs> seriously but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 25 in three two one go I keep forgetting that she's like hella bloody. So of course it's gonna take her longer to get there, but Jesus! Oh, that's not good. Is 
To me, that's still not 28 minutes. Thir no, 38 minutes versus that. <laughs> that's not enough time. That's not going to hold her. How much time, though, raising heart? This child is getting out of everything. Or see what said that. Okay, if we all right, if we do that, then are you gonna go? Because the, he he's at his wit's end, honey. It when someone knows that they're in their final mission and they have nothing else to do after that, they're going to end it in their own way.
Oh, baby. We've always protected them. Then how are you going to get out? I mean, yeah, what did she think she was going to do? <laughs> And, and there is no way she can, like, survive that. Look how painful that thing is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The fact that she also thought for a moment she could outrun it. Mm. Girl. Okay, now what about Vivio? How can we get Vivio back to, you know, her being small? See this um once again Sailor Moon wicked li dark li black lady there we go there we go took me a moment but there we go
No, it's not. We can always save you. Don't find it. Okay. That's right. Come on.
Okay, we gotta get out of here. Now, you know with that motorcycle, you can't grab everybody. I'm just saying. Let's be a little honest about that because we're doing a rescue mission. Everybody about to be safe. <laughs> the fact is that not only Subaru and Tia, plus Faith's babies, everybody come, everybody come to save their mommies, that's all. <laughs> we end the final episode of this show. With the kids coming to say the like, mommies. <laughs> and I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> Woo, this is a lot. Yeah, I mean, but seeing these two fight is literally 100% giving, like, the Sailor Moon feels without be it being Sailor Moon and such. And I hate to compare it to Sailor Moon. I think a lot of us, we do instantly compare almost every magical girl series to sailor moon because if we didn't have sailor moon majority of these say uh sailor moon if we didn't have sailor moon majority of these magical girl shows would have probably not been created and once again you gotta be thankful to the one who started it all at the end of the day, no matter what she's in. But yeah, in the moment of Vivio versus Nanoha, you do get the black lady slash Sailor Moon fight ask. Even though, like, what I like to say, because I say it both in Crystal and the original series, that fight between them, it's very short. And I kind of wish it was longer, but I get it. <laughs> But still, also with this, I maybe kind of wanted it to be a little bit longer, but I mean, hey, hopefully we have a good ending. The rescuing is good. Everybody comes out safe, sound, positive, and we move on to happier times for now. good it was good even though we're not done yet it was good i mean i think expecting was i expecting every single person who was working with the doctor to die the one who was carrying the doctor's seed i really wasn't expecting her to die excuse me at least her to like so what somewhat be alive and she would have been the one who would have been sent um 
to their quote unquote jail and maybe she could have been reformed and stuff just how like fate and everybody else was but I think this is the first time in the show for this show we don't really have any bad guys surviving this I mean Vivio we can count but you know she was it's different with her Vivio is a very different type of bad guy where she's just she was born into it and such and she didn't know what she was doing until it was too late because she was being jeopardized by and manipulated by someone until she was able to find Nanoha and Faye aka her moms to bring her out of it but then at the same time because she got captured again she got right back into it maybe um I'm trying the the redhead fairy and then the purple haired girl maybe they might be taken in and then, you know, be performed in a good. Who freaking knows? But we'll find out in the final episode. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Alrighty. Episode, tw well, final episode. My bad. <laughs> in three, two, one, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it took them how long to get here? <laughs> I'm so mean. Of course, she's tired. Great.
How the hell are they going to get out then? for that. You got this, Tia! Okay, now the question is, how are Edidu and Kedu, how are they going to get in? Because, of course, they're running after fate. Baby over here looking like a saber. Oh, my God. Damn. See, that's a move that you move that you use first and foremost, so then you ain't gotta use any other move.
They also saved homegirl too, even though I feel like she did or maybe knocked out. Well, okay. later. This is ass to be in jail. Both of them in jail. All of them in jail. <laughs> oh, of course. Because you can't keep them on the same place. You gotta keep them separated. Because you don't know what people are capable of. That's good.
Mm hmm Aww. <laughs> I know, you're gonna make them cry. <laughs> Even Faye, Faye is like, um... That's how you end the show. Like, oof. Like, let, let's just talk about how with this series, going into the movies and then continuing with the TV series, like, yes, each and every single one of them have still ended happily, but I feel like this is the happiest ending out of them. Aww. <laughs> out of all of them. I think this is such a really interesting season. I love the fact that it still focused on Nanoha and her little group, but also we got others in it too. <laughs> Hair down, oh.
That's good. That's good. Just 10 out of 10. Definitely will recommend. This is good. Very underrated, but still good. I mean, the funny thing is, like, okay, so the person who also recommended this whole entire Nanoha series, they want me to watch another one, but unfortunately, someone beat them to the punch. And for now, this will be the last Nanoha series that I'll be reacting to until, you know, eventually I come back to it. But still, I don't. <laughs> but those two are still together. Ah! <laughs> What I'm kind of hoping is because I think the next series is one that I have not seen. Um, it still focuses on them, but I kind of want to see another group under Nanoha's wing. So hopefully <laughs> that happens. It would be nice. That's crazy that she declined it, but I, I think it's because of the fact that she still just likes doing it. I mean, it's nice. But still, at the same time, she's going to be separated from her wife. I think she's okay with it, though. I mean, because she still gets to talk to Fate, like, in a nutshell. And then, so, you know, Fate also gets to see Vivial. So, and you know what? All's well that ends well for everybody. Everybody got a happy ending. Because when we really sometimes look, cause, because of the fact that I'm comparing it to the movies and such, um, the last movie series that I essentially watched, like, especially with that situation, the bad guy, she got the happy ending, but the biggest thing is it wasn't in the way that she wanted. And... Even for a lot of Magical Girl series, sometimes the series doesn't end happily for everyone. Sometimes they still have to deal with so many other things and such. But the fact is that everyone is where they are meant to be, especially when we're looking at Subaru in a nutshell. Because in the beginning of the series, Nanaha saved Subaru and inspired Subaru to do the same thing as Nanoha. So now Subaru is doing the exact same thing with that little girl. So it wouldn't surprise me if the next series focuses on that little girl or we focus on um, Vivio and Lulu. There's a lot of things that they could do for this next series and such, even though I have not seen it and really haven't heard anything about it. Because with, sometimes with Nanoha series... I, I try not to look at so many things because I felt like everything is almost like a potential spoiler and such. This, and I, I do this with like almost majority of series that I really care about. Like that's the same thing with like Pretty Cure. Um, I try not to look big, big ass spoilers because I want to, I, I don't want to know. And then I have to keep a hush hush for weeks because it's now, I think it's been at least what, two or three months since what, um... Our final cure was supposed to be like in leet. I have not seen that yet, and I have been hunting for that, and I still have not found something like that. So once again, Toei is keeping very, very like 
hush hush quiet moments on no one finding that out even though yes people are finding that out and such people have their ways of doing that i don't know how but you know hey teach me your ways but seriously this was really good i really enjoyed the fact that it did a big 360 or a turnaround to bring it all the way back to the start of episode one of where we started like how we started and where we are and such especially for Subaru like truly because I did not think we were going to get that turnout where Subaru is saving someone and still at the same time that little girl possibly had a moment was just like dang like this this girl risked her life to save me I want to do that so, I mean, but yeah, this was a very interesting season. I, I definitely would watch it again. I don't know where I would put it in the ratings of seasons for this show, but it still is good. I love the fact that we had so many moments between Nanoha and everyone else. Um, the Nanoha fate, you know, ship is just rolling. And of course, that's going to continue to roll and such. Having Hayate and, you know, her family here and then, you know, Subaru and them and getting to learn more about them and being connected with them. And so that's what I'm also really hoping with this next group of people where I get to connect with them and call them like my little close net of a family and such. Because that's what you feel like when you're watching an anime. You feel like by the end of the series, you you kind of truly know them, but there's still some things that you don't really know about. And that's okay, because, you know, if you get a second, third, fourth, fifth, twentieth season, you get to learn so many different things about characters that you probably would have never known about in your wildest dreams. And so, who knows what the heck could happen next. But, what the hell was that? Okay, that was weird. Um... But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys. As I said with the Saki video, I am not 100% sure if I'm going to immediately go ahead and react and stuff. So, I will say it like this. Um... You guys will maybe see me next Wednesday for the start of the new show. And then same thing for Patreons. You will see me the possibly see me the following Saturday for the start of the next series. But I think by the time, really more when this comes out tomorrow, um, I will definitely have the definitive answer for Patreons. And then, of course, for everybody else, you will know when this comes out or if I don't say it and stuff, if something doesn't come out the next week for Monday or Wednesday, then you will automatically know. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.